Let's sew a cow neck dress. To drape our cow neck top, what we're gonna do is you're gonna pin it up on either side of your dress form. You're gonna have it at two different points. We can make the cow neck be a little bit more exaggerated by adding some pleats to it, which I'm going to do. As you can tell, I have some draping tape underneath just to give me the overall shape of the dress. So you can definitely go ahead and do this as well. And then we're gonna have straps that will go from the dress to connect it into the back. I already did cut out some fabric. I really just did that a little bit haphazardly, but first was to add those pleats. So as you can see on either side, I've added these small little pleats just to give it a little bit more dimension and shape. And now what it's time to do is basically finish off these edges on either side. This is gonna allow us to add our straps so that you're not able to see any of those raw edges. So I just folded over the fabric and I'm going to sew both the strap as well as take a seam all the way down to remove that raw edge. So here are the front straps, they are now attached and you can see I removed the raw edge for like underneath the arm. Now it's time to focus on the back. So I changed my mind a little bit for the straps and they're actually gonna crisscross, but I still have these two back panels for the upper back portion of the dress that I need to remove the raw edge. So I know that for part of it, it's gonna be removed when I attach it to the front of the dress, but I still have to worry about the top as well as the sides of this, these panels. So the way I'm gonna take care of this is I'm gonna be folding over part of the panel so that I can do a rolled hem and you won't be able to see it. I'm also gonna be doing a rolled hem eventually on the bottom of the dress just to kind of give it a very quick and easy finish. So as I did a horrible job filming this, as you can't really see, I will show you here that you can see that I folded that in, took the raw edge, and then just taking a straight seam. So with that seam complete, you can see both of these panels now are nice and clean and crisp. You cannot see any of the raw edge. So now it's time to actually work on the bottom portion of the back of the dress. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm actually going to be taking some pleats so that it has more of a fitted shape on the body. This will allow me to then be able to attach those two panels at the top of the back to the bottom, and then we'll be able to kind of sew everything together, including the straps. But first thing first is I need to add some pleats to give it a little bit more shape and dimension and so that it hits a little better and it isn't as loose. So the way I took this pleat was I just pinched about an inch of the fabric and then pinned that and did that on either side. And then I just would take a straight seam down. So now that those pleats are complete, I am able to attach those two back panels to the lower portion of the back of the dress. So I'll be able to have this be all one piece. The way I did this was I just pinned with right sides together all the way around. And then once I had that done, it was time to take a seam. So now that we have that back complete, it is time to start sewing the full entire dress together. So basically sewing the sides. So I sewed one side at first just to make sure it would all lay correctly. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. Everything matches up really well. And it actually has this really nice curve and kind of fits the body nicely. So now I'm gonna repeat this on the second side so that I get that exact same shape and that exact same curve. Once I have that done, I will then be able to attach the straps to the back of the dress and it will basically be finished. So to attach the dress, all I did was with right sides together, pin the front and the back on one side. And then what I will do is just basically sew all the way down. As you see, there is gonna be some extra fabric that is completely okay. I did that so I would have a little bit of room if I needed it. But once I take that seam, I'll then be able to cut all of that off. So here's what our dress looks like so far. Both of the sides are now complete and they both fit the body very nicely. They kind of curve in a little bit. It looks really good. Now what it's though is time to do is work on the straps. So as they are right now, you could see at the front a little bit of that cowl neck design had started to go down. So I played around a little bit instead of placing the straps like I originally thought in the middle, I decided to give it this crisscross effect and that made some of that draping be a little bit more prominent in the front and I think it gives it a really unique back design. So I'm just gonna take a seam for both the straps. So before we get the final look at the dress, we have one more step and that is to take a hem. So along the bottom, what I end up doing is I'm just gonna take a rolled hem. This is the dress, the um, wrong side is what we're looking at. And I'm just gonna take a really small rolled hem all the way around. This dress is on the shorter side already, so I didn't wanna take too much of a hem to make it even shorter, but I think for the party look, it's gonna work great. Now I'm just gonna take a straight seam all the way around. 
And here is our completed dress. I absolutely love the neckline. It turned out really well. I think the pleats really did add another dimension. The straps look perfect with it. They're nice and sparkly and they really go with the silver effect. The crisscross in the back is so fun. It's exactly what I envisioned it to be. I'll even include um, a picture of a watercolor I did of what I was trying to go for so you can see what it was supposed to look like. This dress is short, but it's very fun to wear, um, especially if you have leggings or tights with it. If you like this video and want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe.